absolute treat here for you today. We've got the Muto family. Dennis, do you would like to introduce the, the members of the family? Yes, well, uh, my name's Dennis. This is my mother, Raquel, my little sister, Lindy, my other brother, Albert, and my other brother, Patrick. What about the one in the back? And the one in the seat, smallest brother, Mario. <laughs> Are there any missing? I think there's a couple missing. There's or? a couple missing. There's uh, Melbourne and Frank and Eddie missing. There's another three missing. Now, the reason why they're here is um, they've got the, your, your late father, uh, Sisto. Sisto, Sisto, that's right. Um, what year is this? Uh, is this a Fiat 1100T? It's a, a Fiat 1100T, yeah. 1963 model. It arrived in Australia in 1964. On, on the van, you can, as you notice, there's a 9588 number, which uh, represents the population of Shepparton back in 1964. Not only was it a work van, it was also a the family Sunday car. So on the weekends, it was my job on a, on a Sunday, on a Saturday night, to uh, clean the back out, clean the cement out, the tools, and we used to put a mattress in the back. <laughs> and, and that was before uh, seat belts. Prior to 1973, we put the mattress in the back and away we'd go for a Sunday drive. And the first one into that van got the wheel arch. That was the seat. That's we fine. weren't smart enough to go get a couple of chairs and put them in there. <laughs> All we done was sat on the floor. But the first two blokes into that van got the two wheel arches. They were the seats for them. And the, look, the, the condition of it looks like it's brand new. Yeah, we restored it. We had to restore it. It was uh, rusted out everywhere. Well, Dad didn't want anyone to touch it. Uh, it spent, uh, it spent uh, 15, 20 years in, a, in an old farm shed after he's finished. He's uh, retired from uh, Brick Lane. He, uh, he parked it in an old farm shed and that's where he left it. He used it as storage for 20 years. <laughs> and, and, and he was going to throw it to the tip. I said, no, no, hang on. I'll keep this car. One day I'll do it up. And he kept it. So what have we got? We've got, still got an original motor. The motor's original, just the housings and that have been changed. Uh, everything's uh, original on it. Uh, there's nothing, nothing being changed. The windscreen's been replaced with a, an original one from Sicily, of course, uh, but everything else is original and it's had a new paint job. All the, all the sign writing is still the original from 1964. Now, I've got to correct you there. You're wrong on the <laughs> sign writing because the original guy that done the sign writing was a guy called Laws. He was in Shepparton, and then when I brought this van up to Melbourne to get fixed, uh, I sent the pictures to another bloke in Werribee, and that bloke said, uh, can you bring that van to me because I know that car. I was a little kid with my dad done the sign writing. Wow, okay. really? And the son so done the sign writing again by hand only. Yeah, no, it was a good truck, very reliable, um, very durable, um, and uh, I suppose uh, we thought it was a pretty tough machine in our day. And, I remember Dad used to go overseas every now and then. He'd come home and he'd find things like exhaust tips added to the exhaust, and, and then we'd take the air cleaner off the engine and make it sound nice and tough down the road. And Dad would come home and say, oh, "Somebody's been a mucker down with my car. What's <laughs> going on here, boys?" <laughs> well, thank you guys. I do appreciate it. that's a wonderful story and a wonderful van, and I'm sure you guys will look after it for years to come. Thank you. Thanks thank for inviting us, Gustav. Thank you very much. much.